months. So that's important. And when they hear once again that the price is going to be expiring at the end of that very day that you're in, that means you don't have very long to take advantage of that $54 price on a four pound, four pound bag of shrimp tempura. So this is M53615. It's brand new. It's from Egg Harbor. Brittany Ristelli is part of the family that brings this to QVC. Hi. Hello, happy New Year. Happy New Year to you. So whether it's delicious salmon mm -hmm. or in this case shrimp tempura, which I was thrilled to find out that the tails are not on right. because I'm not paying for stuff that I'm throwing away. I get to eat everything I see on the plate. Exactly. I am really impressed with the idea of this because you can use this in a lot more applications. Um, so this, is this the all four pounds right here? No. Or is this two and two? Exactly. So they're Good heavens, up. that's a lot of mm -hmm. shrimp for that price. For $54, look at all this shrimp. Um, okay, so that being said, and with no auto delivery, how mm -hmm. is tempura, because I know some people see it on a menu once in a while, how right. is tempura shrimp different than just traditional fried shrimp? So a traditional fried shrimp, you're going to have, you know, the egg batter and breadcrumbs. Tempura batter is a traditional Japanese batter, and it's made with either ice-cold sparkling water or ice-cold seltzer water. Okay. So what that does is it gives it that light, airy, crisp taste. How did I want. not know that that was one of the key ingredients in tempura? That was a huge surprise just now that yeah, you told me that. Definitely. So um, this is your little plate. And look here, at this. So we mentioned earlier a lot of times when you see shrimp tempura the tails are on which mm -hmm. can be handy if you're using it as a little handle but if you're really trying to get more of the meat and not want to throw anything away, this is the way to go because you can eat the entire thing. Um, already popular. And if you've had the salmon or any of the other delicious dishes from Egg Harbor, you know the quality is going to be exceptional. So how do we prepare these? So these are so easy. So 425 in your oven on a cookie sheet, 25 to 30 minutes. So we're using, you know, a white vanamai shrimp. It's mm -hmm. from the Pacific Ocean to give mm -hmm. you that plump shrimp. It's nice and tender. Mm -hmm. And then the tempura batter. So it's all done for you. And then 25 to 30 minutes to give you that crisp little bite that I just heard. That I was going to say, <laughs> considering this came out of the oven mm -hmm. and not a fryer. Right. I am really excited about how crispy these are. Yes. And we just asked, actually, um, somebody asked backstage, could we use an air fryer? And mm. the answer is yes. Okay. So you can. So if that's something that you know you're more comfortable using, you can. But I'm, I love the oven. So a cookie oh sheet, four twenty-five, and then they're separated into two two-pound bags, which that's is what why we're we showed it here. separated here mm -hmm. like this. So this is in one two-pound bag. Mm -hmm. This is in the other two-pound bag. So this is based on weight. No matter what, you're getting four pounds. So th how many shrimp? Total are we getting? So it's about 160 to 200 shrimp total. It's oh about my 41 gosh. to 50 per pound. And we know where the shrimp are coming from, which again is kind of nice because when you go to your food store, you don't know that. Right. So they're just, they're so much fun. There's so many different things you can do with them, but we have the big game coming up. I know mm -hmm. my team sadly isn't going to be there. I'm sorry. But we'll probably still celebrate because it's a lot of fun. You know what? I actually read somewhere that like half the people in the country are really more impressed with the food of the big game than the actual game of the big game. Like they do it for the food, not so much for the game. Exactly. I think, did you say, Frank, that 500 are gone? Okay, over 500 of these are gone. So you're going to show us how to create a couple of fun things. Just a things. few fun dishes. So, so what do you so have in the bowl? Things that you can do here. So this is just uh, hot sauce. Okay. My favorite hot sauce. Your favorite hot sauce. I know my favorite. Hot I know sauce. your favorite hot mm -hmm. sauce too. But whatever your favorite is at home. <laughs> so you can use it. Again, you're going to have your shrimp on your cookie sheet. Mm -hmm. 425, 25 to 30 minutes later. Just add your shrimp. So they're already nice and crisp from already the oven. Already nice and crispy. Exactly. And then we're just going to. Toss just them mix it up a little bit. And so this could be your favorite hot sauce, buffalo sauce, sriracha, like whatever you want. We're making buffalo shrimp instead of buffalo chicken wings. Oh for Super Bowl. my so just gonna switch goodness. it up a little bit. And then you have your blue cheese ready, your celery, and your carrots. You know what? I'm about to get really mad at my line producer because he said buffalo shrimp like it was a question. So I'm assuming he's never heard of this concept. Oh, have you never heard of this chicken concept, wings, Frank? Hot wings. He is not. Okay, okay, I need to I need to do, do you like hot sauce, Frank? Does he, do you do hot sauce? I don't know, he's not answering me. Right, I think he's mad. Right. Oh, he does hot sauce. Um, so is that essentially what we're seeing up That's here? Exactly so the finished product, plated. after it's all mm -hmm. mixed together, is up here. You do your hot sauce with your blue cheese or your ranch and your carrots Whatever and celery, however it is. it is that you want to do it. That is amazing. Mm -hmm. And then um, obviously as a meal, mm -hmm. and the thing that I like about this too is that now, if I didn't want to do all two pounds at once, could I, is that bag resealable or can I put it into one of my freezer yep. bags? just put it into one of your freezer bags, so, absolutely. So I could pull out like 10 of these just for me. If it's I just for you, absolutely. I love 
love this. Okay, wait. Over a thousand of these have now been spoken for, and look at that price. It is $54 for four pounds of shrimp that have already been cleaned, deveined, tempura no tails mm -hmm. on them. So you're paying for all the meat, which to me is the most important, because, I mean, when I was a kid, one of my favorite things where there was a restaurant we would go to, and I felt very grown up ordering popcorn shrimp. This is <laughs> exactly. like the super sophisticated grown up yeah. version of what popcorn shrimp is. Absolutely, or you can put french fries on the table yeah. with your son like I do with mine. <laughs> yeah, why and not? He loves it. He why is, not? He doesn't need to know the difference between a fried shrimp and a tempura shrimp. Exactly. It's just, it's just shrimp. And I love what you're doing here because since there's no tails on them, right. we don't need to worry about anything getting in the way. Exactly, so if you do want to have a handle of some sort, um, get a skewer together, and you can put you know your favorite your favorite things on here. I just did um, an Asian barbecue mm. dipping sauce on the side, but oh you can gosh. just have a skewer, pop them on, have your favorite dipping sauce. This one's Asian barbecue. You could do sweet chili sweet dipping. Chili. You know what I love? Poison. Yum yum sauce. Yum yum sauce go, is right here. Go go to the international food aisle and look for something called yum yum sauce. It is it's a, delicious. It goes really well with fried shrimp. Delicious. Okay, Absolutely. wait. I'm gonna have one of the hot sauce ones. Yeah. Definitely this is try. not like ghost pepper or something that somebody put on there, is it? No, no, not. it's not that hot. Not today, anyway. Oh boy, is that good. It's good, it's versatile. It picks up the flavors of the hot sauce and the blue cheese. But I or can you can just have them taste plain. the shrimp. Mm -hmm. The texture of the shrimp is plump and juicy, but that tempura, because it's not like regular breadcrumbs. They get soggy sometimes, regular breadcrumbs, and they have to break open and fall out where there's right. like nothing in the middle. The tempura makes like an actual shield of armor around the it's outside. It's a batter. So they're exactly. all truly encased. So you're not dipping it in egg and then dipping it in a breadcrumb. You're actually dipping it in a thick batter with that ice cold seltzer or sparkling water, this whichever the so recipe good. is calling for. But they're delicious. You know, I need to, I'm just realizing at the end of the show, I need to order some of these. And I need to <laughs> remind you too, your price is $54, but that price will not be lower for a full six months, and that price is expiring at the end of the day. So if you want to bring these home, this is going to last you a really long time. You're getting this in a two-pound bag and this in a two-pound bag. The last time I went to my local grocery store, I got a relatively small, I think it was a one-pound bag, and the price of those shrimp there, now they were not tempura, they were even just plain shrimp. Right. I'm looking at this price and I'm doing the math in my mind and I'm realizing what an amazing value this is, but that's only until the end of the day. Right. Um, okay, so whether you do the hot sauce, whether you do this as part of a meal, mm -hmm. or I love, I love the idea of making the sticky rice and just putting it in like a fun shaped container and then popping, popping it, it out down. to make that little rice mold. And that's just like a little that. of the sweet chili dipping sauce that we showcased there. Just tossed it in that. So whatever, oh. again, whatever your favorite is. And you know what? I need to let you know where we are with these. These better not disappear before I'm done because I don't have the bat phone off to the side that I've been asking for for years. Um, so Frank, we started with 2,800. No, 800 remain. <laughs> I'm gonna get sad. <laughs> I need my cell phone. Um, okay, and this is what I love over here too. What did you do with this one? Because I see, I love the noodles. Like sometimes I'll go to the store and I'll mm -hmm. get, um, you can do like the cellophane noodles or the udon noodles for something Rice fun noodles. on the side, mm -hmm. but what did you do on the outside? So this is like the general towels sauce that we oh. used. So we use the you know traditional. I just general read about sauce. how that began back in the 1960s. Really? Yeah. I don't think with I know some that ingredients. Story. It was actually started in Japan. So it was with local ingredients there. Then by the time it came here, the recipe is not quite the same anymore. It lost something in translation. Sure. But it's still it's supposed to be yummy and sweet right. and a little spicy and Exactly. Yeah. So we taught you know added the sesame seeds in, tossed it around and that's a traditional dish right there. We did it with the fried rice. Mm -hmm. Love that. Which is also another traditional dish. Or just and pop them. No, we're pop them. <laughs> exactly. Oh, but wait, but I love I love this idea. It's fewer than 600 now remain. Um, the whole taco idea because if you go to any of those really big restaurants that are out there, everyone has their own quote unquote version of a fish taco or mm -hmm. a seafood taco. Mm -hmm. And this will probably be even more delicious because there's more texture in yes. what you're eating. Absolutely. And this is great because again, you get so many of them to so have so many different options. Taco night is so easy. Oh Everybody gosh. loves it. But they are And just if you want to cover it in sauce, here's the beauty of tempura. If you did this with a regular batter and you put sauce on it, the whole thing will get kind of soggy and fall apart. These have been soaking right here. Mm -hmm. And that hot sauce you put on them probably like six or seven minutes ago, 
They might not have been quite as crisp as they were six or seven minutes ago, but the texture is really holding up. It does. The tempura batter definitely has that light, crisp crunch that you're looking for. Oh my gosh. And I'm then, you know, the sweetness and the tender plump shrimp that you have on the inside. So it kind of is supposed to work together to give you that great. Leave it to Egg Harbor to create something <laughs> delicious for you. But I got to tell you, while I am loving that price, that price is not going to be forever. We have fewer than 300 remaining. It may very well sell out during the show. Your kids are going to love it. You're going to love it. This is probably one of the easiest appetizers ever because how do we cook these again? So you're going to do 425 on your cookie sheet in the oven for 25 mm -hmm. minutes. I usually leave it in about 30 minutes, just from a little frozen, bit longer right? from frozen. You don't have to thaw it out. You don't have to do anything. It's done and it's absolutely delicious. Come on, dudes. If you're sitting at home and you're thinking about this, <laughs> don't think about it too long because I really believe it's going to sell out within this show before the show is over. And you have the chance to bring this home for three easy payments of $18 a month. If you like shrimp and you get it at your local food store when you think the shrimp is good, how much do you spend on the shrimp there and you're getting four pounds worth here with nothing to throw away? There's no tails to throw away. It's already been deveined and cleaned and all of that stuff. The tempura batter is on every single one so beautifully. Like I'm trying to find one lame one in here and I can't. <laughs> they all look really, really good. You can do the kebabs, you can do the main meal. We are down to last call on these. What you will get is juicy, tender, slightly sweet shrimp with that crisp, beautiful package on the outside. And if you wanna air fry it, you can, but it's as easy as baking. You don't need any special tools no, to prepare these. Absolutely not, none whatsoever. Yeah. Egg Harbor, great. you guys are pretty cool. You do a very good <laughs> job, a very nice job. We do. At what you guys do, but that price again mm -hmm. is not going to be any lower for at least six months should we be able to get this back on the air again. And that price will actually be expiring at the end of the day. And at the moment, we do not have this on auto delivery, but hopefully maybe at some point in the future, they're gone, they're sold out. Can you bring them back? I would love to. Even if it's a Absolutely. higher price, I'll pay it because they were really that good. <laughs> Thank, you so much, Thank you so much, It's been so great Brittany. seeing you. Um, and I just wanted to let you know, while you're hanging out for these, if you missed out on our top find earlier in the show, we have a chance to revisit it.